Okay, so this is a fast tutorial how to install Sky on PC. So first of all, you go to this website. You basically just uh, search, basically just search for mobile player Android 9, and it will come as a first re result. You click on this, then you click on this, then it will download. As you can see, I I already downloaded it. It just Click on it to make it install, yes, etc. I mean, it is very easy to install, there is nothing you can screw up. Just accept and you can just install it wherever you want. I have already it installed, I won't do this process because it is very easy. Also, after you install it, you might uh, get message that you need to enable virtualization in your BIOS. So what this means, it is just actually, this thing actually is required for better performance in every emulator. And you just need to enable it. And it is uh, different for just AMD CPU and for Intel CPU. As you can see, here is an example for Intel uh, CPU and it will be most likely in some CPU settings. You, uh, so it just depends on your BIOS. In technology, you need to enable it. Here is for AMD. For AMD, it will just look like this. It actually looked like this for my BIOS. SVM mode enabled. Here's another, here's another example for Intel. Here is Intel 2, Intel, and this is for AMD SVM. So SVM for AMD, Intel for for Intel virtualization technology. Okay. So as we have this done, now we just need to go to uh, to our mobile player. So after you install Mumu, you will have these two icons. We need to click on this one. And what you want to do after it loads, you can do two things. First of all, we go to Play Store, and and surprisingly, maybe surprisingly for you, if we type Sky Code, it actually shows us Sky. It's not gone. It's here, and it's compatible. With the device and you can just just install it you can just install it, like literally and after you install it then then it's time for configuring for the best performance that i found and so just like these are like my my settings so mm, first of all i think you will need to enable here and here enable high fps enable FPS mode, this one and this one ticked. Now let's go back to basic settings. There's nothing that you need to do here. Here, uh, Vulkan. Mm, with uh, the difference between this and this is that with Vulkan I get way better F FPS, and this is a bit worse FPS. But in Vulkan I cannot, uh, um, I cannot uh, do <coughs> Rivia Tunner. I cannot. Uh, at any point turn this on here on Vulkan but on speed it works the Rivia Tunner if you know what it is but doesn't matter okay if you don't know that that doesn't matter it just uh, so it just monitors the performance of your whole PC yeah so now performance uh, I recommend you to set it on high most likely I set it on custom uh, and memory memory i recommend you to set it on four because you don't really need more and i think actually setting it on more than four uh worsen your fps and now cpu cores how many cores i think it is i don't really know what it is but i just set it on six because i have six cores in my cpu and uh, this will be automatically ticked on so you don't have to tick it I mean 
you can if you don't have it ticked for some reason now interface settings uh, I am playing on 2k resolution you don't need to set this one it will be automatically set um, as you can see look it is just automatically being set uh, so yeah, you just type this and this if you want to play on my resolution you can also choose this or this or this I don't know F uh, from my testing it doesn't really matter what resolution you have uh, and it's always the same FPS actually I mean I don't really know it might be weird but I think it could be actually that the higher resolution the more fps you have for some very strange reason and um, i tested so okay so we got this and this mm, uh, nothing to check here i'm hiding toolbar because it is just better and you can just out plus t to hide it fps settings uh, we cannot do anything here i do show fps because review tunnel doesn't work for some reason in the vulcar I managed to somehow make it work once once but it was only once and I really don't know how I did it so if somebody knows how to do it how to make it work then please uh, share with me and explain it to me how to make it work because on speed DirectX it works it works it's uh, so it works just like a charm and on Vulkan it doesn't work I don't know why. And I tried many solutions in, in the internet and it doesn't work. Okay, so now it's so another gameplay. Let's see, I have connected gamepad. Now we can just press here and we just do this like this or just press F, uh, F11. Okay. Let's start some gameplay to let you see how smooth it is. Because uh, it is pretty smooth. Not really smooth. We don't have stable 60 FPS. I don't think it is possible to, to have stable 60 FPS. Um, here in home, it is pretty stable. It's pretty stable. It looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on 2K. I don't know if it changes anything if I'm on 2K or not. I didn't see like too much difference, but I have good FPS when being here. Okay. So let's go to Daylight Prayer and see how it all works. Okay, so as you can see, we dropped to 40 FPS instantly. But it's playable, it, so it is like cool. So I also set it to high performance mode. And it looks like this in high performance mode. And let's say I will set it on default mode 30 FPS. And it's good, and it's good, and it's really good, but I prefer to do it on this one. Let's go the faster way. If I will do this. normal way and I am playing on gamepad cause like really on the keyboard and mouse it is just pain to play but it's possible it is possible you can press F12 to see all the controls so it is actually set to play sky so actually, uh, mobile player developers made it uh, so it is very easy for you to play it. They set it everything up. Uh, yeah, they just set everything up for you. And you know, and you know, I think uh, um, it is good that we can play it, but. Uh, the FPS is not really good, so I think we we would need to wait for the full version. 
I mean, for the official version to come to play it smoothly, or we just need the better emulators. Because I literally tested with every resolution with the lowest ever uh, with lowest resolution, and it just didn't work. It was always the same, same FPS. Okay, they bugged it or something. What is happening here? Okay. Oh yeah, I guess just. Uh, oh. Just a casual day in the sky. Is there something here? Nothing. Right. Yeah. So as you can, so as you can see, I am a move, but this is just for uh, video purposes, and I have actually skins, so don't uh, blame me. Yeah. Okay. I think that's enough gameplay. It's pretty smooth. As you can see, we can also play on the keyboard, but it's really just hard to play on the keyboard. It is. Oh, yeah, it is really hard. It is. Oh, it is really hard to play on keyboard. Yeah. So that's all. That's the gameplay. Please let me know about the full cam thing with uh, Rivia Thunder. How to make it work? Because I don't really know. I made, I made it work once, but uh, it is really hard to figure out how to make it work again. Okay, that's all I think. Here we go. Sky code how to play on the PC.